G'day guys and welcome back to my channel Nintendo Down Under. Happy New Year to you all. It's 2020. I can't believe it's been a year already since I did a game room tour. I'm super excited to show you all how much it's grown. Um, lots of new stuff. I've shown things along the way on previous videos, on Instagram, Facebook, but to put it all together, super excited to show you. I've got this massive room that is so full. I've got a whole other gaming area. I've got heaps of collectibles and things over there as well. There's so much to show you. Can't wait. Let's get stuck right into it right now. Rightio, to kick things off, we've got my Nintendo Switch um, corner of the room, which has dominated 2019, really. Um, I'll start right at the top. I've got four Chrome controllers up there, a Zelda one, a Metroid one, a Mario Gold one, and a Pink Peach one. I'll zoom in a bit more so you guys can see that. I um, got that for Christmas last year. Uh, moving to the right of that, um, my Pokemon Switch Lite Sword and Shield variant. Another Switch Lite below that, my Turquoise Blue one. Moving further right, a standard grey Nintendo Switch Lite. Another Switch with the Neon Joy-Cons. Actually, it's not a Switch Lite, just a normal Switch, not a Lite. Moving down a bit further, another grey Nintendo Switch. Moving back up there, another grey Nintendo Switch. A normal Switch with the Neon Joy-Cons. Um, the upgraded Battery Life Nintendo Switch. One of my special edition variants is my Super Smash Bros one. Love that, love the uh, controllers there with the uh, smash symbol on it really cool joy cons um, moving down here now we've got my super mario odyssey couple of years old now nintendo switch variant the only difference there is it comes with the dark red mario joy cons some more joy cons to the left of that we've got the purple the orange uh, variant the royal blue and yellow moving down a bit further my pokemon let's go pikachu nintendo switch variant comes with really cool joy cons and switch dock which you'll be able to see very soon my uh, more switch <coughs> excuse me joy cons the neon green the neon pink gray joy cons loving them some more joy cons down here the neon yellow pack and blue um, here's some colors displayed for you the purple the blue the green two blue three neon yellow another blue a red a pink and an orange also to the right of that is my special edition pokemon sword and shield box which come with a gold case and they're both the games really really cool my favorite nintendo switch variant not a lot of difference really, just a bit of art on the front there. Comes with some pretty cool stuff and the box is really big. I just love, I just really like it for some reason. It is my favorite. <coughs> Moving down a bit further, now you can see some of the Switch docks and the Joy-Cons. So we've got the Pokemon, the Pikachu and Eve Joy-Cons, which is really cool. There's the uh, Super Mario Odyssey Joy-Cons with that Switch. There's, uh, there's the Diablo one. The Joy-Cons are just gray and standard. And to the left of that, the Super Smash Bros one with the Smash Bros Joy-Cons. Um, some of my Switch Lite display variants. There's the Pokemon Sword and Shield one. The Canary Yellow. Uh, the Turquoise Blue and your standard grey one. And just to the back there is a sealed Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, I guess, guide for the game. Um, left that sealed. Had that for a while now. Moving a bit lower are some of my controllers. We've got my, excuse me, my Pro Splatoon one, really love that, really comfortable. Next to that to the right is the Xenos one. A uh, few, excuse me, Joy-Con accessories um, for some reason. Hang on a second, my red one has fallen down, but there is my red one. And there's a couple of things at the back there. I haven't got quite room to display. Um, here is some of my third-party controllers, really like them. <coughs> the Donkey Kong one, Zelda, Splatoon, Bowser, Mario, another Zelda one, and Yoshi, and here's some like uh, Switch, um, basically, they're sort of shells you can put on top of your controllers, uh, not too bad, picked that up a long time ago now, and like I said, a few accessories at the back there, wish I had room to display these controllers a bit differently because I love, um, let's just put that down, I love the box art on these, they're really cool, they all look like that, really awesome, I just don't have the room, unfortunately. Um, we'll go a bit lower to the bottom shelf. 
um, some more controllers down here, an accessory, Joy-Con grips, Odyssey one, um, two of my Pro controller boxes, um, just like a Pokemon sort of controller, and some different wheels for Mario Kart, um, and the Tendo Labo kit, and a few things at the back there, like an AC power and some game card case carriers and things like that. Um, to the left of that, my Nintendo Switch games. I'm contemplating moving how I display these because when you want to get a game, you want to get it down here. It's a real pain in the ass. You have to constantly pick things up and move them. Here's another Zelda controller above that. There was a time where I was trying to keep up with all the controllers. I've got more in the room I'll show you after, but Nintendo Switch, they love pumping out different controllers from different parties. So here's my uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 steel case that glows in the dark, really cool. Pokemon Sword and Shield one, it came with that special edition I was pointing out before. Um, I'll point out some of the games. I haven't actually played all these games. Super Mario Maker 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, Breath of the Wild, my absolute favorite. Uh, Smash Bros, uh, Deluxe Mario, Luigi's Mansion 3 again. Uh, Monopoly, Odyssey, Splatoon. Minecraft, uh, City Skyline, I haven't played that yet, I really want to play that. Uh, Mario Party, Yoshi's Crafted World, uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom, love that, the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, another Breath of the Wild, Kirby, Pokemon, Donkey Kong, Hyrule's, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, and just heaps of different, different games. I haven't played all of these, um, but I always find them really cheap and easy to find. Oh my goodness, so yeah, that's basically my Nintendo Switch Lite stuff. Switch. I keep saying Switch Lite, Nintendo Switch stuff. To the left of that are uh, some of my Wii games. So here's my Wii game collection. I've got a few. Um, I don't have like a massive game library compared to some collectors. My collection is mainly consoles. You'll see after, as you've already seen, I've got lots of consoles, heaps of consoles to come in this game room tour. Um, but I'll point out some of my favorite games. Um, yeah, Galaxy, absolutely love that. I'm pretty sure one of these uh, games, uh, let me try this one. There we go, is signed by the voice of Mario himself. Really cool item to have in the collection. Love having that, so really lucky there. Uh, obviously everyone's played Mario Kart on the Wii if you have a Wii. Uh, Super Paper Mario wasn't too bad. Tennis, Sonic, couple of Mario. Uh, Bros games, Galaxy 2, more Mario Kart, Mario Party, Smash, uh, yeah, a few doubles here of Lynx, Crossbow Training, Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Wii Fits and Sports. If you're a collector, you just have lots of Wii Fits, Sports, Resorts, all of those in your collection because they just seem to pop up everywhere. For some reason, I have so many of them. Um, I don't really put a lot of time into my Wii collection anymore. I don't really play that many Wii games. Every now and then I'll have a bit of a double at Mario Kart or Galaxy for nostalgic reasons, I guess now, because it's a bit old. But yeah, I'm not a massive Wii player these days. I'll move up a bit further now. And here is some of my Wii U, uh, yeah, um, motion controllers. I've pretty much got the full set. So I've got Luigi, Yoshi, uh, Mario at the back, Bowser, Peach just hidden away there, and Toad. I had them all boxed except for Mario. I don't have the box for Mario, which is upsetting. And a couple of uh, normal Wii remotes that aren't Wii U is the white, the blue. Sorry, it's very dark. The black one, which you can't see behind Bowser, but it is there. Uh, not much very good lighting in here. And the red one, and some the Wii, gold Wii controller, and the gold Zelda one which comes with the special edition box I'll show you after. Um, the four Wii color variants, um, the red one, the blue that come with the Donkey Kong pack, uh, white and black. That's, there's like a Wii mini I don't have, which is red, but that's pretty much it for Wii colors. But I could have done more, I reckon, there. Moving up to my next shelf um, is very overloaded. This is basically my handheld area now, as you can see. Um, I'm absolutely full on this area, <coughs> um, but got some Game Boy Colors and 3DS Special Editions, love these, never played them. I uh, just picked these up uh, a few days ago from one of my best friends, dropped it off. Um, so I didn't actually have, can you believe that, a Game Boy Advance in my collection, but I do now. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, this is quite full with the uh, Special Edition boxes that I've got. 
um, but I've got both of those variants that came out um, but they're displayed better up here as you can see I love the four uh, Zelda 3DS's here they look really really awesome as you can see I've never really played these they're just for collection purpose I uh, picked up these stands I think it's from Rose Color Gaming a long time ago now I can't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure it's from Rose Color Gaming um, and there's my Pokemon one as well. Love I just that Pokemon one. It looks so cool. Never played it, never used it. I just keep these for collecting purposes. And here's the boxes just above that. Um, two of the Samus Editions one. This is probably my favorite one. Love the Super Nintendo look there. It looks really cool. Um, and a couple of the Zelda boxes as well. And just your standard uh, metallic black and metallic blue. Right, moving above that, I've got my that's my two Labo kits. I had to lay them down because I don't have room for them anymore. Big boxes, never opened them. Um, and just above that, let me just zoom in for you guys. Uh, my Mario Rabbids Mario sort of uh, statue collector's edition and Luigi just above that. Next up is my Wii U collection. I don't have a massive Wii U collection of games. Um, I wasn't a massive Wii U fan. I sort of lost a little bit of love for current Nintendo back then. I was more into my Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo, um, but I still have some pretty cool titles. Um, usual Mario games, Yoshi games, Donkey Kong games, Zelda games, all those sort of good things. My favorite one, which if you can find, I definitely think you need to pick it up because it's gonna become very collectible is the Luigi version of the uh, Deluxe. I uh, love that. love how green it is. Green is one of my favorite colors. Well, it is my favorite color along with yellow. Um, so, yeah, that's going to come very collectible. So, a bit of a tip if you haven't picked that up already, look for it. Try and get it now um, because, yeah, that's definitely going to be on the hunt for people um, as this console ages. Uh, moving up to my NES collection. I don't have a massive NES collection. I still have some pretty cool games though. I've got all Mario's, Double Dragon, um, Turbo Racing, love Turbo Racing. <coughs> Excuse me, Donkey Kong. Um, yeah, so I don't have a massive cart collection for the NES. Um, I was born in 89, so I was more of a Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64 definitely kid as I got a bit older. I've got three boxed Super Nintendo controllers. I'm um, really lucky to have that actually. And just for one spare controller for the um, NES Mini, which is pretty cool. Still sealed inside the box. Uh, I, I talk about this every year, every time. Here's all my Super Nintendo carts. POW Super Nintendo carts frustrate me so much. And there's no end labels, you can't tell what they are. They're all curved, so they're hard to display. So I pretty much just laid them like this. Um, but some of the games I do have, um, I've got a few. I've got all the Donkey Kong, Super Mario, Mario Kart, uh, Star Wars, Zelda, um, Bubsy, All Stars. So I've got a lot of the good titles. There's still some I'm missing. Um, but yeah, they just frustrate me. I talk about this all the time, so I'm always interested to hear people's tips on the best way to display Super Nintendo carts because um, they're really a pain in the ass. So curved, no end labels, just, yeah, really, really gripes me. Oh, excuse me, I haven't got some room here. I'm gonna move up to my boxed uh, Super Nintendo games. Love the box art on these old games. Um, so yeah, Super Mario All-Stars, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, Super Mario RPG, uh, probably my favorite game, Super Mario Kart, actually that's a lie. Donkey Kong is definitely my favorite game on this system. Uh, yeah, Super Mario Kart, Bubsy, really awesome game. Um, some more games on their side. Super International Cricket, love that game. So much fun. Me and my friends still play that now. Um, and yeah, just some more boxed Super Nintendo games. And moving up a little bit further, my NES boxed games. Um, so yeah, that game. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, that is really hard. Really hard, I've never finished it. Um, yeah, I get really frustrated with it actually. Um, so hats off if you finish that game. Um, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario Bros 2, Bros 3 again, a NES cleaning kit. Uh, the first Mario Bros, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Battle Toads, California Games, Wizards and Warriors, Double Dragon 2, uh, 10S, Golf, and a Disney game which I've never played either. Moving up a bit higher 
is my Nintendo GameCube collection. I'm um, displaying probably my favorite games at the front. And I've got a big stack of games here as well, which I'll go through quickly. Um, but here is also a Extreme Green Nintendo 64 controller that comes with my Extreme Green Nintendo 64 box variant, which we'll see after. Quick little preview. I've got a lot of consoles over there I've got to go through with you guys. We'll get to that. But uh, back to my games. Mario Kart Double Dash. That was just really clever. Mario Kart 64 is one of my favorite games. So they really had to do something different and they really did with that. Um, the maps, the items, it was definitely one of the best games on the system. To me, this is still the best Super Smash Bros game. Melee, loved it, awesome. The tournament mode, the challenge, I just loved it. It was so good. The first Luigi's Mansion, the uh, launch game with the GameCube, that was amazing as well. There really is some top games on this console. It didn't really do that well. Uh, especially in Australia where I am um, sort of bombed out the PS3 sort of took a lot of, or PS2 whatever it was I'm pretty sure PS3 took a lot of its um, uh, I guess fanfare away didn't promote it well um, yeah it struggled here so a lot of people missed out some great games um, Wind Waker that was really cool wasn't too sure about the whole you know cartoon look at first but loved it another game I can't stop talking about Super Mario Sunshine I hope they make a Super Mario Sunshine 2, remaster it, remake it, do something because it deserves a sequel or, or deserves to be on the modern consoles because it is fantastic. If you never played Super Mario Odyssey, uh, Sunshine Odyssey, you need to pick up a copy, get a GameCube, borrow a bag, whatever you need to do and play that game and a couple of boxed uh, GameCube controllers, the Spice Orange, and just your black one. Another favorite game of mine, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Awesome game, if you haven't played that, definitely recommend playing that. Um, and behind here, oh, hang on two seconds, I just dropped something, oh, bear with me. Um, very sad, I've got two GameCube games, Mario Party 5, um, and Resident Evil that don't have the cases for. I don't know what's happened to them to so have to leave them in this little envelope, which ugh, it's just really, really disappointing. Um, NHL 2003, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Um, let's go through some games that, that was really hard as a kid. F1 Career Challenge, I struggled with that. Um, I enjoyed Hot Wheels, that was really cool. Star Wars Bounty Hunter, I really enjoyed that. Madden 2003, Madden, Madden 2003. Really awesome. Burnout, loved playing that. Scooby-Doo, that was cool. Desert Storm, that was a great game as well if you've ever played that. Desert Storm, you control a squad. Medal of Honor Frontline, that beach scene where you storm the beach, like Saving Private Ryan. Really cool. Uh, Mario Smash Football. I'm sorry about the glare of the light, by the way. Uh, I'm doing my best to try and shadow it. Uh, Mario Golf. Mario Golf. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. Do you have some water in a second? Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Um, I haven't really played that too much. Uh, Mario Party 4, Mario Power Tennis, Mario Party 6, F-Zero GX. I love that game, but it's just really hard. It's really fast and yeah, it's a hard game to play compared to the first F-Zero game, but I still enjoy it. Um, and the Star Wars games, finished them all, loved them all. And another copy of F-Zero GX. Um, I'll quickly pull this down. I'm pretty sure I've told this story all the time as well, but I'll tell it again. Um, I purchased this off eBay a few years ago now. And it's so damaged because the person who I bought it off decided to wrap this in a Coles shopping catalog. A food shopping catalog. That's it. No box, bubble wrap, even packing paper. Just a catalog with a sticker on it. So it came very damaged. I was super, super pissed off when that happened. Um, but that's life. I gave that person a terrible rating. They thought their packing was sufficient. Well, they are... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <clears throat> Moving up to the top, some more Nintendo Switch uh, controls. I still had a few more. Um, there's my Charmander red one, uh, the blue Squirtle, yellow Pikachu, and green Bulbasaur. Write in the comments below, guys. If you're going to pick a starting Pokemon, who is it? Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, or Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur is my starter. I'm probably going to upset a few people with this comment, but Pikachu is so overrated for me. He's just a... he's a yellow rat. You're going to pick a fire, or you're going to pick a plant or a water one. Why do you want the yellow rat? It's just because he's the star of the show. I'll probably upset a few people with that, but yeah, overrated for me. Um, above that, very hard to see, I apologise. Um, my Nintendo 64 system organiser. Um, I'll just move these boxes out the way so you can quickly see. Um, Hang on two seconds. 
yes it comes with the drawer you put the games in it put your console above really cool can't got that boxed in a great condition really happy with that um, behind these controllers is my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition which comes with the statue and the coin and the game and maps. It's really cool. Um, behind that, my Bayonetta Special Edition uh, Nintendo Switch box thing, I guess. Well, it's not a Nintendo Switch uh, game. It's still sealed, never opened it. Keeping that nice and tucked away for collecting purposes. <coughs> and, excuse me, three more Pokemon controls at the top, which I did a review on on a Nintendo... Ah, uh, fuck, I keep saying Nintendo Switch. On a YouTube video, if you guys want to check that out. It's a few months ago now. Um, did a review and unboxing if you guys want to see. Um, but, yeah, that's my, basically, first two shelves of my collection. Um, we'll move on to the next part. The next part... Um, I've got a game storage tower. The box is really neat. Um, sorry, excuse me. A Super Nintendo Nintendo Switch controller for Nintendo Switch Online for the Super Nintendo games. Uh, another Nintendo 64 uh, accessory box up top. A few of my boxed uh, controllers. The Fire Orange, the Great Purple, the Power Australian ones. Uh, sorry if it's not very easy to see. I'm on my tippy toes of the camera that I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, my dark blue, uh, royal blue Nintendo 64, green Nintendo 64, my atomic purple Nintendo 64 controller, grey and black ones. So I still need like a few more for all the colours, just standard colours like your red and yellow, which I need to eventually pick up. There's my Wii remotes uh, I was talking about earlier, just behind this. I'll just move that for a second. Um, as you can see, I said I haven't got Mario, I've got Yoshi, Luigi, Toad, Peach and uh, Bowser, but no Mario, so I need to pick that up and a bonus like Banjo-Kazooie. love Banjo-Kazooie. That's the theme of my collecting, really, as you guys are about to learn. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, VCR tape to promote the game. Really, really, really awesome to lift that. It's just a Super Nintendo um, box, Super Nintendo uh, console. Comes in a pretty hard case. I don't really have room where all my other consoles are displayed. To the right of that, my Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Uh, which comes with the uh, awesome game, the bongos. I love it. Um, it's a lot of fun, actually. Um, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which came with that controller I showed you before. Um, two to Tokyo characters. Uh, it's not really Nintendo related, but these are Nintendo characters in my eyes. Banjo Kazooie, of course, and Conker. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's really hard to see, but behind all of this stuff, I've got a massive. I'm just going to move this for a second. Massive, uh, basically bow for, I can't think of the name right now. I'll come back to it when I can think of the name. I apologize. I need to get some water in a second. I'm so thirsty from talking. Um, Nintendo GameCube controller for the Wii U for the Smash game. Um, some Wii wheels here, Guitar Hero, a Wii U Pro controller, a Wii U um, Lego, some more Wii stuff like the bow and things like that. Uh, I don't really have the room, it's all squished in there. And I should have pointed out before, but behind those um, Rabbids boxed special edition bloody characters, whatever you call them. I've got like a Goomba statue and a Fire Flower statue, which you'll see earlier unboxed. Um, moving down to one of my favorite areas of the room. <coughs> Excuse me. Is my Nintendo 64 box game collection area, I suppose. I'm displaying some of my favorite games. Excuse the glare on the protective cases. Super Mario 64, love that game. Mario Golf, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Um, to the right of that, Pokemon Stadium, Cruising World, um, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, 1080 Snowboarding, Cruising USA, um, South Park, Golf, There's Mario, another Mario Kart game I have. <coughs> Excuse me, Yoshi Story. These are all really nice boxes too, most of them. Mario Party 3. I um, still have that from my childhood. A lot of these are from my childhood. Uh, Mario Kart 64, another box of that. Moving down a bit further. Banjo Tooie, Banjo Kazooie's uh, sequel to the game. Awesome game. Really harder than Banjo Kazooie. More to do. A lot of backwards and forward. And I still loved it. Uh, GoldenEye 007. Everybody who's owned a Nintendo 64, played Nintendo 64, knows what this game is and how special it is and what it did for first person shooting these days, uh, Wave Race, 
Uh, the world's not enough, 007. That game is amazing, just as good as 007. I really love playing that. Uh, Extreme G, South Park, bit of World Cup, uh, NHL down the bottom there. Uh, Hot Wheels, Turbo Racing, loved that game. Knife Edge, a few wrestling games. Just down the bottom there. Donkey Kong 64, still with the original sticker from when I bought it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome game. My favorite game, my number one favorite game in the world, Banjo-Kazooie. Just love this game. I've finished this 100% so many times. The quests, the puzzles, the music, everything. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, really nice box here. Most people's favorite game, um, pretty much the best game ever made and voted in a lot of top 10 lists, 100 lists. This is always the best game still. Um, so yeah, a lot of people would agree with that. Um, Mickey Speedway US racing game. So sort of their uh, Rares version to <coughs> Mario Kart, even though they had Diddy Kong Racing as well. Uh, the first Mario Party game. A couple of boxes of Star Wars F1, Episode 1 Racer. Awesome game, love it. Love playing that. Um, and then some more racing games. I'll just move this out the way. Down there. Mostly racing games. Um, and we got Mario Tennis. Uh, I don't know what that is. V Rally and some more sports game for the Nintendo 64. Pokemon Snap, would love to see another game like that. Pokemon Snap 2 or Pokemon Snap Remastered for the Switch. Um, definitely has the audience down there reckon to grab it. Um, a really crisp Super Smash Bros with the original price sticker on the box as well. Um, so that's nice and safe in this protective box. Awesome game, not as good as Melee on the GameCube, but still really cool. Mario Party 2, probably my favorite Mario Party uh, they've ever done. I love Mario Party 2. Um, the mini games improved number one. You can get your hand shredded. The maps are awesome. Um, really well done. So if you've never played Mario Party 2, you need to play it. It's so good. Um, F-Zero X. Uh, I'm not a heavy metal fan, but the that music works so well with that game. One of my favorites. Finished it with heaps of different characters many a times. Would love to see a new F-Zero game on the Nintendo Switch these days. Um, I reckon one day we will. I reckon when uh, Nintendo Switch decide to bring Nintendo 64 games, surely that will be one of them. <clears throat> Diddy Kong Racing. Um, I liked how they were different from Mario Kart. It needed to be different. Um, you couldn't have the same sort of just racing formula trying to compete with Mario Kart. It has that, but it's also got the adventure mode, which is quite depth, quite long. Um, yeah, so really awesome game. Well done there. Um, and just behind some of this stuff, Destruction Derby. I love Destruction Derby, going around just smashing cars. Anyone can play it. Top Gear Rally and a few other racing games. Um, below F-Zero X, Operation Winback. That game is amazing. Operation Winback um, is the best shooter on the 64 for me. It's so long. The quicker you do the game or the slower you do the game, the different ending you're going to get. Um, laser sights, I've introduced laser sights to gaming for the first time. Um, so like metal games like Metal Gear Solid based its uh, gaming off that. So if you've never played Operation Winback, it's a long game, shooting game, but it's fantastic. Really worth the time. <clears throat> and some more wrestling and sports games below there. I've got a graded uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Really nice game, nice and mint in my box. I talk about this, <clears throat> excuse me, every year as well. Uh, I got this in the post and it came cracked and damaged. It was so upsetting, really sucked. Um, basically, it's still sealed, you can see the red line around it. They didn't pack it in bubble wrap, they just sent it in a postal bag. And obviously, things get tossed and chucked and smashed in post, so that really <clears throat> was upsetting when that came. Um, I thought about sending it to back to the US, not where I bought this from, but just where they do the grading to get this repaired and fixed, but you gotta pay for the shipping, send it over there, they gotta redo it, send the shipping back. Um, it costs, the money that it was gonna add up to be was almost what the game is worth now, so it just wasn't worth it. <clears throat> Very upsetting, um, but that's life. Probably my favorite thing in the room is all my colored consoles uh, displayed in this cabinet. We'll kick things off right down the bottom here. I've just got a normal NES and SNES console with the minis above that. 
a NES controller and Super Nintendo controller. To the left of that, two Wii U consoles, the black and white variant with the pads and the Pro controller. I don't have the uh, Zelda variant, which I need to pick up eventually. Further to the left of that is my Virtual Boy. Um, Virtual Boy was released in 1995 and it bombed, didn't do very well. Um, the colors, the red and black, gave people headaches. Um, so it didn't sell that well. You can only play for about 10 minutes and you're like, oh my god, my eyes hurt. But I loved back in 1995, Nintendo really tried to push the boundaries with gaming there. Um, to try and have virtual gaming back in 1995 was, yeah, really well done. A bit further up on my GameCubes, I have. I've got a sealed memory GameCube uh, card. Um, I've got a, the Pokemon XD console just at the back there, if you can see. Sorry that I'm out of room with the display cabinet. Um, just the platinum silver in the background. Your black one, your spiced orange and purple indigo. I think it is GameCube. Um, a couple of memory cards at the front. And a Australian um, launch CD basically promoting the GameCube which I managed to pick up a while ago which is a pretty cool little item I thought. Moving on, uh, my Nintendo 64 vi color variants. I have all 16 worldwide. Um, so I've got um, a couple of Pikachu ones here. Pokeballs the power. Um, the resets his foot. When you turn the power on, his cheeks light up looking like a pink which is really cool. So we got the blue yellow one, uh, the orange yellow one. The dark blue one, which you can pick up um, in the US and UK. Um, so I managed to pick this one up, I think the UK version. No, the US version, sorry, US version. Apologies there. Um, there's different controls there with Pokemon and Pikachu display at the front. Um, and my Australian version as well. Um, so it's got Pokemon on the side. Um, if I can just pull this out, I'm making, I'm making a mess. You can see the Pokemon displayed on the side as well. That was the last uh, console I picked up to complete my set, actually. And just your usual grey charcoal Nintendo 64. <clears throat> Moving further up, I've got three expansion packs here. I've got more, I just thought I'd display three here. Uh, my Jungle Green Nintendo 64. Uh, clear charcoal smoke black Nintendo 64. Great purple Nintendo 64. Or Midnight Blue, if you're from... Japan depending where you're from. Um, the Ice Blue Nintendo 64, Fire Orange Nintendo 64 and we got the Watermelon Red Nintendo 64. For some reason when they did the fantastic colours in Australia they did green, grey, purple, blue, orange. Didn't do Watermelon Red. So I had to do a trade with a friend a few years ago um, in the US. I sent something his way, he sent that back and that worked out really well and we still remain Good friends on social media, Instagram, with our collecting today. Um, moving up is the world's rarest color variant, hardest to find, the Just Go 30th Anniversary Nintendo 64. Uh, the transparent white with the clear gray. Um, it comes with the transparent white and clear gray controller as well. Um, so you have to keep these out of the sun for sure because these white transparent bottoms, they love to yellow. So I know some people who do have a Just Go and their bottoms have yellowed a bit, which sucks for them. Um, so you got to keep that out of the sun. A couple of rumble packs. Um, the clear blue, transparent white, Japanese. Uh, the clear red, transparent white or clear pink. Some people like to call it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Nintendo 64 in Japan. My gold Nintendo 64. You can pick these up differently. You can pick them up like in the gold Japan variant or you can pick them up on um, the gold Toys R Us in America. Um, that gold is really, it's probably my cleanest one I have. And the second um, world's rarest Nintendo 64 color variant is the Diahawks uh, Nintendo 64. Sorry, it's hard to just see because my display cabinet won't open anymore, but it comes with uh, clear black with the orange. Oh, sorry, excuse me, just smacked my elbow. And yeah, the orange for some reason goes milky on a lot of these Nintendo 64. So mine does have a bit of milky sort of look to it. Um, but yeah, I really love, especially the control, looks really, really awesome. And to the left of my display cabinet, uh, I've got a hat from the Throwback Gamer. He does hats and beanies and things like that. So look him up on Instagram, the Throwback Gamer, and he does all these sorts of hats that you can pick up. Um, some of my 3DS games. Um, so I'll quickly scroll through these. So I've got lots of Pokemon ones and Zelda ones and Mario ones. Um, really lucky there, Yoshi and Super Mario Maker, Metroid, 
um, all different ones, heaps of Pokemon ones like I've said, um, the DS ones with your Zeldas and, not Zeldas, Diddy Kong Racing, what am I saying? Uh, I don't really play the DS that much, so that's why I'm not really talking about this too much. A couple of Mario Karts, Super Mario uh, 64, a couple more Yoshi games down the bottom. <clears throat> and just in there, if you can see, I've got some boxed um, sort of Game Boy Advance and things like that games down the bottom, but I'm not a massive DS player, especially now the DS has sort of like, you know, its life has sort of ended now. Um, but I will quickly point this out actually. Um, Luigi's Mansion 2, I still have, you can see the Nintendo, that is sealed, factory sealed. Uh, managed to get that from uh, a place called The Gamesman in Sydney when I used to live there. I had a friend there who managed to look out for sealed things like this. Nintendo don't normally like to send things sealed, but that did come sealed. Um, so I'm definitely going to hold on to that and keep that safe um, because that's all about collecting and that should go up in value as time goes. I'll stand back a bit here and show one of my really cool things in the room. Um, I love talking about this, is my Nintendo 64 Kiosk Machine. <clears throat> love my Kiosk Machine. It's not in like mint, mint condition. There's a few scratches and bumps and things like you can see around here, but it's complete. I've got both controller arms, um, which work fine. Both controller arms with a, for some reason, atomic purple and orange Pokemon uh, Nintendo 64 controller. The dome's in good condition, no cracks or big scratches with a Nintendo 64 inside. So that comes with an EverDrive cart. Uh, if you don't know what an EverDrive cart is, it's basically loaded with every single Nintendo 64 game, plus it's loaded with all NES games and special games and modded games. It's got heaps, thousands of games you can play. So I use that um, to play different sort of games and display different games on my kiosk. Came with a TV. Um, the light, as you can see, has got a few scratches, um, but it can complete. So, you know, that's with it as well. Um, the cage around it, the TV came with it. Uh, I'll go to the sides, as you can see, the Nintendo 64 symbols on the sides as well. Yeah, so I was really, really happy with that. One of my most favorite things in the room. A really cool collector's item, not everybody has, um, and I really enjoy it. I've always wanted one, and when I found this was for sale for a really good price a long time ago, I had to get it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Down the bottom are a few number plates. I've got like a Mario one that which was made from Pimp My Plate. He sent that to me. I've got a few others in the room. I'll <clears throat> show you guys. So Pimp My Plates on Instagram. I'm not sure if they're still uh, doing these things anymore because I haven't seen much from them, but they were pumping out plates a while ago. So if you want custom plates, head to Pimp My Plates on Instagram. Uh, Banjo Kazooie number plate down the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me came with like a loot crate gaming like a banjo did a while ago so I got that and my friend <coughs> Brad <coughs> sorry excuse me uh, sent me this for free when I bought a console for him it's like a wrist pad it's got Bowser on it um, and it's still sealed in the bag um, I'm not quite sure what it's used for but it's a real I love unique uh, collected items like this um, I won't stand up now I'm just gonna uh, anyway, I love uh, unique items like this. This is what makes collecting fun. Finding things you didn't know were out there, didn't exist, um, and yeah, it's still sealed. So I love having that in my collection, um, and yeah, really thankful um, that he sent me that. Uh, moving back up the top, uh, I've just got a Super Famicom Mini um, that I got given to me a while ago and a couple of my Amiibos. And I have a lot of Amiibos, which you guys were just about to find out about. So this is uh, one main area of my Amiibos, but I have a lot more than this, which you guys will see after. Uh, I've tried to stick all my Super Mario ones together. So we've got, <coughs> excuse me, next to the Wario, Toad and Luigi one. We've got Waluigi, Peach, Yoshi, Goomba, Rosalina, Mario, Silver Mario, Gold Mario, Koopa Trooper, Daisy, Bowser, Boo which glows in the dark, Diddy Kong, and Donkey Kong. To the left of that, all sort of my Zelda ones, or some of my Zelda ones, Link Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, Zelda, Majora's Mask one, Wind Waker, Zelda one, Skyward Sword. Oh, I'm not going to go through more anymore, but as you can see, all my Zelda ones. 
most of my Zelda ones. Up the top, more Amiibos, all my different Smash ones. Heaps of Smash ones. Um, I have every single Smash Amiibo except for two. I don't have Smash Yoshi. And there's a lot of Smash ones. And I don't have Smash Pac-Man. So, I need to get them. Um, some Yoshi's Woolly World ones. Fire Emblem. And my Splatoon down here. So, yeah. I've never... A fun fact for you guys. I've never, ever, ever unboxed an Amiibo before. I've never opened one. I've never felt one, touched and used an Amiibo before on any of my stuff. Um, so, yeah. And to come think about it, it's pretty crazy. Um, moving back down the bottom here, I've got a Banjo-Kazooie poster um, I'm displayed here, just had a bit of bare wall, love Banjo-Kazooie A really unique item, I can't display all of it which sucks Is a Nintendo 64 Majora's Mask um, standee So I'll quickly try and zoom down here a bit, it's dark But as you can see it's quite big, I just don't have the room to display the whole thing Unfortunately <coughs> Um, one of my, probably the favourite stand I have is my Banjo Tui one. This thing is mint. Mint, mint, mint. When I purchased this, it came in its packaging. Some things hadn't been opened um, and the camera probably doesn't do it justice. But everything on here is practically brand new. No big scuffs or bends or damages. Um, yeah, it's such a cool standee. Um... I'm so lucky to have it in this condition, and I tell you what, I'm never bloody getting rid of it, ever. This thing's come to the grave with me. Everything's come to the grave with me. I don't think I could ever sell my stuff. I just love collecting so much. Um, and just there is my Super Mario Odyssey standee, which is really cool. Uh, it comes with obviously, the, yeah, well it comes with complete. It doesn't come with any game or anything. I picked this up at, uh, from a local JB Hi-Fi through some friends. Um, the dude who had it saved it, it worked out a deal, and I managed to get it off him. So, lucky me. <coughs> Coming back around now to some more Amiibos. We'll do some more Amiibos. So, these are some of my sort of Wii U and 3DS Amiibo packs. Um, just move this thing out of the way. Um, so, yeah, I've never opened these as well. So, these came with all the, I think, the games and the uh, different amiibos so you got yoshi and mario and animal crossing and kirby and smash and all the fun things uh, as promised i said i have a lot more amiibos so this is sort of my excess well it's not it is my excess amiibo stands i've made um i have a lot here again smash dominate smash bros have so so many amiibos um, and as you can see, I'm not going to go through everyone because I'll be here forever. And I'll run out of voice. But you know, all Daisy and Bowser and buddy Captain Falcon and Donkey Kong, the Marios, Rob the Robot, and Sonic, the Pikachu, Bowser, Charmander, Ganondorf, Piranha Plant. So, so many amiibo. Go down to the next one here, hard to see some of these. Mega Man, Bulbasaur, Peach, Rob again, another Link one, another Link one, Ice Climbers, sorry about it's hard to see here. Um, that's not a Smash one, there we go, We're finally round one, it's not a Smash one. Link's Awakening, sorry about the glare and the plastic. Um, Jigglypuff, Daisy. Moving down the bottom here, some of my three packs, the Splatoon three pack, Odyssey three pack, two pack of Splatoon, um, some more Smash ones here. More of the latest ones that came out this year, um, <coughs> Pokemon Trainer and a um, few of the other different Smash Amiibo. Uh, moving down over here, another three pack of Animal Crossing, a few random Animal Crossing Amiibo, which is probably the least popular Amiibo to collect. Uh, my massive, massive Detective Pikachu Amiibo. 
Uh, two big guardians, I love these. These are fantastic. They're really big, but really awesome. Uh, more amiibo over here. These aren't all just Smash ones. I've got the Kirby ones, and more Smash ones, and the Mario Maker ones. Um, this one's a really cool one. The Diablo, sorry, it's hard to move here. I've got very narrow. My Diablo Loot Goblin Amiibo. Love how that's displayed very differently, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, again, sorry about the glare. I'm trying to stand up a bit here. Um, my Samus ones and more Smash ones. But we are going to move on from the Amiibo because the glare sucks. It's really hard to see, but just to give you guys a bit of an idea, all my Amiibo here and all my Amiibo up there. So yes, I have lots of Amiibo running out of room. Keeping them sealed is cool for collecting purposes, but for room, uh, it is very, very, very challenging. Another really cool, unique item I have is my, well basically a Nintendo arcade machine. So I picked this up a few years ago now from a indoor mini golf place that was going out of business. So they had to get rid of this thing really cheap. So I managed to pick it up um, and it is loaded full of goodies, heaps of hats and merchandise, um, amiibos, spare 3DSs I have. Um, I'll try and come from this side as well so you can see. Um, yeah, and the objective of the game. So as you can see, the light, and where is it? It's going around the outside. You have to hit the stop button on a red light. So light will go around fast and you gotta hit the stop button on the red. And it's really hard to see, but behind there, there's a clock. And a clock counts up to a thousand really fast. You have to stop that on a thousand. And if you hit a thousand, you win a prize. If you hit 999, 998, 101 or 102, you get a secondary prize, <clears throat> but you have to hit a thousand for the main one. But because this is my machine, I can play it lots and lots of times. So I pumped and pumped and pumped, and eventually I did win it. It took a long time, it took probably maybe close to 100 goes, but I eventually won the uh, the main prize, which is pretty cool. Um, next up, boy oh boy, my favorite uh, thing to collect, Nintendo consoles, boxed consoles, mainly Nintendo 64 consoles. I have a hell of a lot of Nintendo 64 consoles, boxed consoles. I love collecting for Nintendo 64. It's my favorite. Um, but we'll quickly start off over here, um, just above my um, arcade machine. I've got a really nice uh, Platinum Grey GameCube, a white Wii console above that. My Nintendo 64 limited edition gold controller Nintendo 64. Up there, my purple indigo one, GameCube, sorry. My black GameCube. My Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness limited edition bundle. And my Spice Orange GameCube. Below that, <coughs> my special limited edition Pokemon, Pokemaniac N64. Uh, box variant which comes with a bonus VR, uh, VCR um, for kids watching this. VCR is what, how you used to watch bloody uh, movies and things like that. Didn't have Netflix and stands and downloads. That's how we used to do it. I'm sure most of you already know that. To the right of that is my Mario pack. But quickly going back to this box variant, this is the last one I picked up. It's not the best condition one, it's still pretty good. Um, but it was, yeah, it was hard to find. These are quite hard to find really expensive as well that people do sell them so it had to be really really patient on that um, back to the mario pack one yeah picked that up um, oh, about a year ago now a bit over a year um, this is what i was talking about earlier sorry about the glare from the protective case my uh limited edition toys r us extreme green controller so this is from america you uh, got the extreme green i'm sorry about the glare that sucks uh, uh, controller with the console. You can also buy the controller separate um, in the US as well. Um, to the left of that, my Feel Everything Nintendo 64. It's a really long box, big box. Um, comes with a 64 and uh, a great controller and it's got pictures of people on the back. Pretty cool variant. <coughs> um, back down here, I've got my Jungle Green boxed N64. I've got my great purple N64, um, my fire orange boxed N64, my watermelon red one I had to do a trade with with a friend in the US, um, and down the bottom the Japanese transparent white red pink N64, 
So left of that, the transparent white and blue Japanese box N64. Ice blue boxed N64. Um, the biggest names in games, Fire Orange, so it's no real different to this Fire Orange. Um, but they just did like a biggest names in games, which had a Fire Orange, a Great Purple, and a Charcoal um, Clear Grey one. Um, so these are quite expensive to collect. Um, the only difference really is is the biggest names in games and how it's got the different colours on the sides compared to say just the standard ones with the red. Um, funny how little differences can make it quite collectible. Um, but they're the three colours on the side that you needed to collect. <clears throat> they can be worth about you know thousand dollars each easy. Um, but yeah, so I got all of them. And moving back up the top, I've just got a standard white Wii U console. Again, for probably a collecting tip, I recommend probably picking one up um, because they're the most least bought one. Doesn't come with any color variants or box variants or uh, downloadable games or doesn't have much uh, gigabytes. It's only got eight gigabyte, so it's not as it rare to get. So if you want to get it now, if you find it cheap, hold on to it. Could be worth a bit of money later on. My black Wii. My most recent Nintendo 64 pickup, uh, my Star Wars Episode 1 Racer limited edition set. Picked that up for Christmas from my partner. Loved it, chasing that for a while. Sorry, it's hard to see it. It's really up the top, so I'm stretching my arm. Um, my Red Wii um, 25th Anniversary Super Mario Bros um, Wii console. Um, Pre-loaded, actually it's not pre-loaded. It comes with the um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game with the uh, bundle, so I was lucky with that. Another really cool variant, um, GoldenEye 007 box variant, one of my favorites. Probably my favorite console. I have box console I have is my Banjo-Kazooie one. Um, I love the, like, the fine details of the box art. I really wish that they did like a Banjo-Kazooie console variant. That'd been really, really cool, but at least we got a Banjo-Kazooie box console love that um, for some reason banjo looks really pissed off at kazooie there and she's copping it <coughs> excuse me and below that is my donkey kong 64 uh, jungle pack one so you can pick this one's from the uk i'm pretty sure it comes with the gray one but you can pick this same bearing up from the us i'm pretty sure it comes with a jungle green the only difference so i have to pick that up eventually um, and there's my japanese orange um, Pokemon Pikachu N64, excuse me, and the world's very rarest one, color variant, the Just Go 30th Anniversary. Um, so yeah, I picked that up a while ago as well. Moving back to up the top again, sorry about stretching my arm. My, uh, comes with um, Mario Kart 8 pre-installed and the Splatoon downloadable code, box variant. Um, my blue Donkey Kong. Uh, returns console I guess and right up the top sorry hard to see I'm stretching my challenge set um, comes from Europe with Super Mario Bros 3 and then wire up top I'm just gonna finish up top because it's bloody hard I've got four minis at the top so two SNES minis two NES minis my action set comes with the gun with Duck Hunt for the NES boxed below that uh, sorry about the glare again the lights suck uh, Super Mario All-Stars box variant to the right of that. My Super International Cricket Super Nintendo box variant. That, I love that. love the colors and green and yellow. It looks really cool. And another favorite. Awesome game. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Diddy Kong Quest uh, Pirate Pack, which is really, really cool. Um, below that, probably the most rarest one I have almost. Really hard to find is... Uh, this Ocarina of Time Nintendo 64 variant. Now, I know a little bit of information on this, so I'll try to explain as best I can. <clears throat> Basically, when you bought this uh, console, I think you had like a... Uh, actually, I can't even remember now. It's from Belgium, I know that. This console's from Belgium. Um, you had the end of competition, you sent off this code, and they sent you the game back. Um, there wasn't that many made. Yeah, so a Belgium exclusive one. I'm pretty sure that code is when you sent you got that game. Um, but I can't remember if you had to win a competition to get this or console or if they sold or I can't remember. Apologies there. I did know the story when I bought it, but I've had it for a while now and 
I know so many different stories from so many different things that I've bought and collected that I just can't remember everything. Um, so yeah, this is the Toys R Us exclusive um, Nintendo 64 set. So you can get the same uh, version from like uh, from Europe, um, UK. I'm pretty sure, but it's just different. I don't think it comes with all this stuff with the Hey You Pikachu and uh, the voice re recognition unit. There you go. I've never used it. Another really, really, really rare one down the bottom, a really mint one, is my N64 Spotlight. Again, the protective case makes a bit of a glare, so apologies there. Um, it's really nice and neat. Just comes with a standard grey N64. Uh, below that is my blue N64. Again, Pokeballs to power. Uh, resets its foot cheeks light up and my nice and neat really neat gold Japanese N64 to the left of that uh, console I picked up near the start actually is my Diahawks one another really rare one um, above that my F1 Grand Prix Grand Prix I say Prix and my partner pays me out for all the time Grand Prix apologies um, N64 variant another golden my one <coughs> and another extremely rare one looks a bit damaged with the rips and stuff but it's so rare uh a i think from sweden a perfect dark n64 it comes with a jungle green one um there was a, uh, a website called consolevariations.com they didn't have a picture of this so i sent my picture in and they displayed it for a while <coughs> which was really cool and then just above that is my gold toys r us Really, really clean mint box. Um, comes with two controllers. Again, uh, Toys R Us in the US. Back then, uh, Toys R Us, what a great place for a kid to go to get all your fun toys and gaming needs. So yeah, that's basically my console collection. I have so many box consoles. That's where a lot of my money and time goes. Um, so you've got this part of the wall is really, really awesome. So you combine this, all these boxes, with all my uh, switch boxes as well and the random Super Nintendo console I'll just quickly zoom in if I can press the right button over there I have lots and lots of consoles consoles is where my collecting uh, yeah my, most of my money goes <coughs> excuse me and here's all my Nintendo 64 carts and I purchased end labels for these things and I reckon they're great so then you can see what games what, point out some of your favourite, uh, Super Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie my favourite, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong 64, Operation Wimbat which I spoke about before, again apologies about the light and glare, it's very reflective today, um, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, never played it, gonna play it soon, Super Mario 64, 1080 Snowboarding, Mario Party 3, Mario Tennis, um, Top Gear Rally, World Cup 98, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, what a game, Banjo Tui, Smash Bros, Episode 1 Racer, GoldenEye, and um, what else we got down here? F Zero X, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Golf, Yoshi Story, Mario Party 2, Pokemon Snap, 007 World's Not Enough, Cruising World, Mario Party, Hot Wheels Racing, F1 Grand Prix, not Grand Prix, Destruction Derby, awesome game, Cruising USA, Perfect Dark, hard to see in here, very dark but NASCAR NHL and a lot of my doubles of carts that I have. So I have a few doubles of my carts. And directly behind me, another amazing pickup that I can't believe I got, I don't think I'll ever find again, is my Banjo-Kazooie standy. Like, look at this thing. So amazing, so lucky, so awesome. I can't believe I have this. Uh, yeah, really lucky to have it. Banjo-Kazooie standy. So I managed to pick that up with the banjo Tui one. Who would have thought, there's no way I would have thought that back in the day that I had both of these combined. Um, so really lucky to have both of them, <coughs> um, along with my other standees as well. Um, and there's some more, pimp my plates, hashtag Nintendo, hashtag down under for my Nintendo down under. It was really cool, they sent them out to me. So I'm not sure if they're still operating, but they are, look them up, pimp my plates on Instagram, and they can make some really awesome custom plates for you. Um, and here's a magazine stand that I picked up a long time ago that has a lot of Nintendo power guides. Um, yes, yeah, so there was a stage there where I was trying to collect all of them, but I had to get these from the US. And you can just imagine, uh, I was getting five at a time from a, a guy that was doing his best for me and five, putting five magazines together, the weight can be quite heavy. So I've got to send that 
from uh, international from America to Australia. You've got to pay for the packing, pay for the weight. The dollar difference from uh, the Australian dollar and the American dollar is a quite a big difference as well. So to get five cent here was so expensive and it just wasn't worth it. So I cut collecting my Nintendo Power magazines away, but I still have these ones and I still like these ones. I've read them many a times. And down the below, <clears throat> I just got some, uh, just some guides and some games. Uh, that's a great magazine. Donkey Kong down here. Diddy Kong, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Banjo Tooie, Banjo Kazooie, and I point I point this out every time as well. I'm going to do it again if this is your first time watching these videos. That when I picked up these uh, three awesome uh, Super Nintendo guides, if I flick through the books. It comes with uh, the the person's owner's like cheats he broke down. How amazing is that? That's oh, again little things like that make collecting really fun. That you know this was someone's you know when he was playing the game back in the day. You know his cherished cherished book, and he put his things and secrets he found out from the game, written them down so he'd remember, um, and he sent them over with them. Um, yeah, they're in the middle here too somewhere but yeah I'll, that's just awesome things like that is what i love about collecting that it's got uh you know history in there it's got someone's notes in there and now i'm gonna do my best to preserve them i love preserving looking after things i love looking after nintendo <coughs> preserving nintendo um, basically explaining to people how amazing Nintendo is, uh, teaching you know uh, younger people about it who didn't grow up with this sort of stuff, that how amazing gaming was, where it all started. Um, yeah, sorry, a bit of a nostalgic uh, conversation there, but yeah, it's just one of the reasons why I love collecting as well. And sorry, why I'm down there, but I've got heaps of display box for Switch games, so many below there can't display, and some more excess books that I can't quite fit as well. Um, which are really really cool as well and promised here is my next area um, basically where a lot of my figurines and collectible stuff goes and this is where I do all my gaming so all my consoles are hooked up here um, and I'll quickly do a quick pan now and I'll go through everything individually um, so we'll start over here so I picked up a Goomba garden statue up very recently got it for Christmas it's really heavy there's no way that's going out in the garden really awesome um, Nintendo down under light which lights up which I should have turned on before and a game over light as well um, moving on to the left of that I've got a Merry Christmas um, promo thing from back in 2017 um, picked that up from a gaming store um, got a got this. I got this when I was a kid before collecting. Never took it out. A soft toy um, plushie collection. Still got the strapping on it, so I can't take him out. I don't want to take him out. Um, a sealed uh, Nintendo 64 controller keyring, which is really cool. And like a bottle opener, a bottle opener, multi-tool Mario thing that was given to me a while ago as well. Below here, I've got a Yoshi plush, really big one. Found that at a um, a salvo store for like a dollar. I couldn't believe it, so I grabbed him. Who the hell would want to get rid of you? We were safe with me now. Um, a sealed Super Mario Bros. checkers. Uh, I think got some Mario stickers in there as well. Down below that, I've got another sealed game, Super Mario Level Up board game. Um, Super Mario checkers, and a couple of the Hot Wheels Yoshi and Bowser car below there, and. As talking about before, here is a, another, um, excuse me, the Throwback Gamers hat. So there's the beanie, I showed you the hat before, there's the beanie. So if you guys want to pick up that stuff, check out the Throwback Gamer. And I've also got a Yoshi scarf, you can see Yoshi down here, um, which is displayed over the top of that. Moving up as well, I've got this fire flower uh, statue that goes in the garden as well, picked up with the Goomba. Again, no way that's going out in the garden. That's sick as. Love it. Nice and heavy and nice and solid. Again, behind that, a Super Smash Bros. Uh, display board from, <coughs> excuse me, from a game store. And I've got a Super Mario Party cardboard display and a Donkey Kong Country cardboard display. Below that, I've got two question mark lights. I'm pretty sure both make the, the coin noise. Um, I've got a um, 
sort of a question mark piggy bank. So when you put the coins through, it makes the coin noise. Um, and in here, another question mark box. I've got all these old school, the little things in my collection I don't get to talk about show much. All these old school stickers and bits and bobs. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got some sealed packs in here as well, if I can find some. Um, just little things like that. I don't know where the sealed packs are. They're probably down there. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, this is a bit of a lost cause, really. I'm trying to find something. Well, this is open, but I got sealed packs of these near the stickers. Um, so, yeah, little things like that I don't get to talk about too often, which are really cool. Um, here's some mugs as well. Um, when you put uh, water in this, that lights up blue, which is really awesome. Got a Yoshi one, a Game Boy one, a question mark one, which has to uh, qu toad mushroom at the bottom. And I have a Mario and Luigi one, which has got another mushroom, if you can see, in the bottom. Um, displayed on some coasters that um, I was given to me a while as well. Below that, um, these cubes are for my controllers go. Um, I've got my black Wii, two of my Boo Ghosts, I've got to put batteries in that one, apologies, but they both light up. Um, my mushroom light, which makes the mushroom noise. A Nintendo 64 book that's really detailed of all the different games um, and information about the console. A great read, love it. Move that out of the way so I can pull it out. A great read, really, really love it. And I've got that as well for a housewarming gift from my friend a long time ago. Um, with all that NES, all the games and the history and the consoles, which is really, really unique as well. Shaped in basically a NES cart. Um, to left of that is my NES console. Um, everything's hooked up, as you can see. Power on. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, power on. Blinking light death because there's no game in it. Um, my GameCube above that. Nintendo 64. Super Nintendo, and check this out, a PlayStation 4. Yes, I do like to play PlayStation as well. Uh, I get on there with a lot of my friends, and we play a lot of Call of Duty games. I don't mind playing that. Uh, my Switch, uh, which has got this cover as well. It was given to me a long time ago. I'm sorry, I can't remember the person's name who gave that to me. They gave me a few, they gave me a Splatoon one, a Switch one. Um, yeah, it just covers the Switch, it stops the screen from scratching. Um, a Wii U. A PlayStation 3, which I never really use. Um, my green mushroom light um, and some Super Mario Galaxy Collector's Edition books, plus a Smash one, really detailed. I've got a Goomba above that, which I've got to put the batteries in as well, silly me. And my two minis. Um, and that's my sort of power Morant setup. It's how I run all my consoles. Uh, all my consoles are connected to the back of this. All I do is change the channel on that to play. And my big TV as well. To the left of that, um, all my little figurines are displayed. All the different characters from, uh, I've got these from many different places. And my Pixel Pals in the background, Luigi and Mario, 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 and Luigi and Mario. Um, some more shop display cardboard stuff. Of Super Mario Tennis, Super Mario, Mario Tennis, Tennis Aces. I don't even have this game. <laughs> I've got the cardboard. And let's go um, a Pokemon game. I've also got four pop vinyls. The only four I've probably kind of collected at the moment are the four starting Charmander, Bulbasaur, my favorite, Pikachu, and Bulbasaur. Moving to the left of that, my Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, PVC painted statue. This thing, I did an unboxing on this a little while ago if you want to check it out. I highly recommend you do check it out because the plastic doesn't do it justice. <coughs> it's so bloody awesome. Stupid light reflecting, I can't really show you very much. Um, but you plug it in, it lights up. The pole to pop lights up, his light lights up. Uh, his vacuum lights are green in the back. It's really awesome. Again, sorry, you can't see that very well. Uh, down below is my Zelda area. Um, some more lights. Um, I got some really sealed, amazing books. These are so heavy, so heavy. Uh, just little little trinkets of the collection that I don't just show that much. Um, but you know that's worth a fair bit of money right there. Uh, a sealed um, chess set, a sealed Monopoly Zelda set, another PVC Breath of the Wild. Again, the light. Apologies, that sucks. Um, uh, Breath of the Wild character, so the, the um, ancient arrow lights up. That's what I was trying to explain before. I've got an ancient arrow bow box. Here it is. Oh shit. Down here. If I just move this out of the way. So I'll quickly pull that out. Oh, I 
can't get it out. Typical. Uh, yeah, so here's the ancient arrow that lights up. And here is the bow that goes with. And yeah, really, really, really amazing. And that's the sort of thing it sits on, but it wasn't designed well because when you sit it on it, the weight tips it. Um, so that's a bit of a design fault there. Um, but yeah, really, really cool item right there. And some more uh, Zelda um, collector's books behind these lights, behind the heart, Triforce symbol. Um, yeah, these things are really cool as well. I say cool and great and amazing a lot, Polo Domo, because I just love all my stuff. Really lucky to have it. Worked hard to get it all. Um, another mug. A Japanese Ocarina of Time amiibo that's not displayed with my other amiibos and some more books. Oh right, yeah, next up are my display posters. I've got my 2DS one, Skyrim, Mario Party Top 100, a Merry Christmas one, another Mario Party Top 100, move that to the side, a Xenoblade number two poster, a just Nintendo Switch sort of uh, promo poster an arms one again Super Smash Bros another Xenos poster Nintendo Labo poster another Merry Christmas one with the arm on it arms I should say Splatoon Merry Christmas Super Mario Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey Merry Christmas another Xenos one which is upside down Nintendo Labo poster upside down. Another Labo one. I'm not going to point it upside down every time. Arms um, again. A Mario Kart Deluxe Merry Christmas. Breath of the Wild Merry Christmas. A. What have we got here? Super Mario Luigi Superstar Saga Bowser's Minions poster. Breath of the Wild poster again. There you go, the right way again. Another Arms poster. Bayonetta poster, another arms poster, a lot, Kirby's poster, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe one, it's a really cool one, Super Mario Odyssey one which is really cool, another Minions one, a just plain Nintendo Switch one, another Smash Bros one, a Detective Pikachu poster, Xeno's Blade 2 poster again. Another top 100 poster. These ones are a little bit curved, but I got a Luigi's Mansion one. Mario Party one. Super Mario Party. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't know what that is, poster. Dark Souls poster. Another Smash one. I got a few of them. A, jeez, another Diablo poster. Link's Awakening poster. This one seems to be stuck. This one. Oh. What's, yeah, so sorry, back to back Link's one. Uh, a Fire Emblem poster. Another Smash Bros poster. And another Super Mario poster. Couple more right here. If I can get them out. Another Fire Emblem poster. Oh my goodness, they're so curved. And a Mario and Sonic at the Olympics poster. Sorry, these are all very curled and curved, hard to get out. And just a random Zelda poster. Um, got a long time ago, it's not really that great. And a massive, awesome, huge window Luigi's Mansion 3 poster. Um, really cool item, picked that up a while ago. It's back to back, good material. And if I can just separate it, I'll use my foot. Oh, hang on, a bit of blue tack stuck there. And below that, a massive, Sorry, very hard to do this. Massive Lynx Awakening uh, poster as well. And if I can quickly get over here without damaging anything. Oh, and if I can find the end of it. So this part's very rough because these posters are so hard to show. But I thought I'd show absolutely everything. A, oh my goodness, it's so hard to, but you can get the picture. I'm gonna do it very quickly. It's hard. A huge, huge Super Smash Bros poster as well. So that's it guys, that is my 2020 Game Room, Game Rooms Tour done. Wow, I was so thirsty, had to cough a few times. If you've lasted this long, well done, you stuck it out with me. 
I really enjoy talking about my Nintendo, as you can probably see, sharing with you guys what I've managed to find, stories, things I love collecting, all stuff like that. I hope you've enjoyed this just as much as I've enjoyed giving this to you. If you haven't already, guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Nintendo Down Under. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Nintendo Down Under. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a great 2020 and take care.